Currently with Season 4 Reloaded inside of Warzone and DMZ, there is a The Boys collaboration, which allows you to pick up a couple of characters from The Boys TV show as forms of operators inside of bundles within the Call of Duty store. You can get Starlight, Homelander and Black Noir. These are all soups, and other than finishing moves that they come with as part of the bundles, you don't actually get superpowers just from buying these operators, they're just cosmetics. Until you go into a game in which you find there's a limited time event where you can find temp V injectors hidden around the map, and you can loot them literally anywhere. And I'm not just talking about denied areas where you find the higher tier loot or off of bosses, no, I'm talking about you can loot a computer or a cash register and there'll be just a vial of temp V lying about. And temp V will give you a random superpower. In this video, I'll be discussing all four of these superpowers while showing you some background footage of what they can do. You'll also be able to see all four superpowers that are currently in the game as part of this event inside of the event section on the menu screen of Call of Duty. You've got laser vision, charge jump, electric shockwave, and teleport. Each of these abilities have different implementations inside of combat, whether it be DMZ or Warzone. The first one is laser eyes, and if you have watched the boys, you know that is Homelander's signature move. It melts through people. It is a purely aggressive superpower that will levitate you up in the air slightly, which you're still able to get shot and hit while you're using this ability, but if you're aiming at a target, no matter whether they're free plates or AIs, It'll be bringing groups of them down quicker than any weapon would inside of the game. You do get only about 5 seconds of laser vision before the effect wears off, but you can use it whenever you want once you've activated the ability, and then once you've activated it, you've got 5 seconds of wreaking havoc. So it's great for killing teams and squads that are close by to each other, and it's quite good for clearing out the many, many AI around the map if needed as well. Charge Jump can be used as both a way to get around your enemies for a flank or if you want to come down from above and leave a devastating shockwave when you land, that can happen too. Once you've activated Charge Jump and you've used it for the very first time, it will slowly start to wear off, but you can use Charge Jump as many times as you want until it does wear off and you can jump really high by charging it or not as high if you don't want to charge it for as long. It's a really good way to get up on buildings without needing to climb a load of stairs or use a zip line or anything like that. You can get around the map a lot quicker. It's actually really helpful for outmaneuvering enemies. And if you want to leave a shockwave, that'll deal some damage as well. Next up is electric shockwave or electric discharge as it's called when you pick it up from the Tempfi syringe. Once activated, you will have four uses of a small electric shockwave that goes a few feet in front of you, behind you, all around you in a 360 degree circle. And any enemy inside that area will be shocked like they've been hit with a shock stick and it will cause them to shoot randomly, not be able to aim properly. And it gives you a great opportunity to take them out with accurate fire. But if you were to use this against a vehicle, it also destroys a vehicle instantly if it's inside of your shockwave range. And this is brilliant, whether it's players or AI, it will take out anyone in the car with the shockwave, and it's nice and easy. That's probably the best bet for crowd control. If they're coming up with you in an LTV or something, and you're in range with that shockwave, you'll bring everyone down inside that LTV because it'll explode straight away, which is really, really helpful, especially with all the big squads that are coming around in LTVs just to hunt enemy players down. And finally, we have Teleport. This is purely an evasive superpower. If you need to get away from somewhere or the gas is closing in and you need to be really, really far away, then you can use Teleport and it will launch you up into the sky, allowing you to parachute to a completely other area. For example, my use case, I used it when I destroyed the bullfrog, and then I was able to fly straight to an extract without worrying about carrying the weapon case across the map. It's really helpful for things like that, but if you were to use this in Warzone, you'll be able to travel large distances without running into many enemy players, and obviously DMZ as well if you're in Almazra, it's a great use case as well for you to get around players if you want to perform a large flank or just get out of danger entirely. Now whatever your opinion on the superpowers, no one can doubt that this changes gameplay completely. If you've got this, you can choose whether to be proper evasive, do larger flanks really quickly which you wouldn't have the ability to do otherwise, or just completely go on the aggressive with your laser eyes and take out enemies before they even know what hit them. It's a weird one, in my opinion. DMZ, 
doesn't really need it. Warzone, I can imagine it's in Resurgence, so it could be fun. You respawn anyway, but it's a limited time event, and it and it makes a fun bit of gameplay while you've got it, and you're on the map once you've got it injected into you. So people know where you are, so it's their choice if they want to come and hunt you down to be able to pick up that superpower once they kill you, or whether they just avoid you entirely. Because let's face it, sometimes you don't want to be hit with laser eyes. Or have someone shock you into oblivion. That's all the abilities. Let me know what you think down below in the comments. On what you think of the abilities as a whole. And where you think their best use cases are. Thank you so much for watching this video. I will see you in the next one. Bye bye.